guys, so today I'm going to be showing you this fruity nail art. I'm not really sure what to call it, but to me they look like fruit with seeds. First up, I chose a yellow colour for my thumbnail because I just thought, why the hell not? So I'm going to just paint my thumbnail with yellow. Next I chose a green and it is in jelly and it's really a light green. So I had to do a couple of coats on this. Um, if you have any other green it works fine. I just thought this is the only green I have and it looks like a kiwi fruit. Next I chose a pink. Um, it is a very nice pink and it reminds me of a strawberry. So yes, this is my strawberry colour. And that's just going to go on my middle finger. Next I picked the orange colour. It's in Tahiti. But I know it looks like red. But it's actually an orange. So just pick any orange. It can be a light orange. It can be a dark orange. I chose a dark orange. It looks cute anyway. Then I chose a red. I chose a dark red. It can be any shade of red. Um, really, any of these nail polishes can be any shade. It doesn't really matter. But this just goes in my pinky. This is what they should look like. Now I'm going to get some nail, nail polish remover. And I'm going to just get any nail polish that's actually on my fingers, like on the skin. And I'm just going to get rid of that. You can use cotton swabs or anything else. But I just decided to use tissues. And I used the corner of it to just go around the nail and underneath the nail if you have long nails. Has anyone noticed my Pac-Man ghost? Salt and pepper shakers, they're actually really cute and I got them for $4. Now I chose black but you can do a dark purple for this. Um, I recommend black because it works. Now you can use any like a twig, a needle or if you have the proper tools you can use them. Or And um, I'm just going to get some black nail polish and I'm just going to dot all over my nails. It doesn't have to be any sort of pattern. All you have to do is just dots everywhere. Now this is what it should look after. Now I have um, a top coat to go over, but make sure that your nails are dry. So I'm just going to apply that over all of my nails to make sure that the nail polish doesn't chip or anything and it has a protective coat on top. And this is the finished product. I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You can also add me on Skype. Life.of.sky. And I'll write it here for you. Bye.